Hi guys, welcome back to this channel, Make Believe. Today, um, well, I'm actually very sorry. I haven't posted a video in a while. Just didn't feel like in the moment for it. Okay, so today we're going to be making an Easter basket and three little Easter eggs. It's going to be very simple if you follow along. And we're going to be making this craft because it's almost Easter because today's Monday. And, well, yeah. So, here are the things you're going to be making using to be making this craft. You'll need paper, something to draw with. You can use a Sharpie, pencil, color pencil, anything. You'll be needing paper, that's some scissors, and things to color with. I might be using color pencil or markers or crayons. Okay, so let's get started. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe if you haven't already. So let's get started. So here's our paper. Just one. You, can, you are going to be needing more than one though. So for the basket, first what we're going to do is we're going to bend this part right here. Make sure it's even like in the beginning, like this. And it's not going to be so big. Then you're going to use another piece of paper and you're going to do the same with it. So let's measure it and we can draw in it so we can see where we need to measure. It has to be the same. So you can see right here, doo, doo, doo. there. Okay. There. Then you're going to flip it the other way and make sure that both parts are together. So we're going, oh. I almost forgot to tell you, we will be needing something to glue it with. Okay, so let's glue this part right here. Very simple, everyone. You can add the details when we are done. I'm just going to be showing you how to make it and we're going to be doing a poem behind the little eggs, which is gonna be so cute. I'm going to stop the video when we finish making these crafts because I'm going to let you guys decorate it by yourself. Or I might not. Okay, so. Didn't turn out so even, but it's okay. You can also cut off a piece that's extra, like so. Okay, there we go, and there, perfect. And let's see the other side. Yeah, that one's a bit bad, let's see the bottom. Okay, yeah. It's gonna kinda look like a purse. Okay, so right now we're going to make this smaller and we're going to shape it a bit like a circle. So it can look more like an Easter bag. Easter basket. I want it to be cute and tiny. See? You can shape it however you like it. to close the bottom of it, like right here. 
You can use your scraps to make eggs. I would prefer to use the big one. Okay, so it looks nice. So now we're going to use the glue and we're gonna glue the side. See how they're both together? You can cut that part off. You know what, no, don't cut your part off because then it won't work. Okay, so sometimes don't listen to me. Okay, so there we go. And now let's do the other side. There we go. Don't remember if I said this, but remember Easter is a day where we celebrate when Easter. Jesus rose from the dead. Okay. See? You might want to let it dry a bit, though, because it might not be fully sealed. See? You don't need to decorate the inside if you don't want to. I'm not going to. I'm just going to decorate the outside. Okay, so now we're going to use our scraps and maybe we can do a handle with it. We're gonna do, this kind of looks like purse, yeah. Okay, so, um, let's do this one. No, this one, this one seems longer. Okay, so, like this. Okay, you guys? If not, you can make it longer. scraps I'm just going to be using mine because I don't really want to waste paper don't make it too thin or too fat just make it the right size okay so we can do it like this so let's try it. Or we can do it from the inside. Whatever you guys want. See how cute that looks? That's just super cute. Okay, so let's do, ah, wait one minute. I'm gonna make another one since my other one fell down. Wait. Okay, so. Now let's glue it on. Let's hope this time it doesn't go flying away and falling away. You can do it right here. Just two little balls. Not too little though. Because then it won't stick much. And... Make sure to stay tuned when I make mine next video, which I said on my last video that I made. I said I was going to do an obby without pressing the checkpoint. So I would have to do the whole thing without pressing the checkpoint. Look how good that looks, everyone. Easter basket. Okay, so we can decorate it, but right now I'm not going to. I'll do that at the end of the video. Okay, so now let's do the eggs. Okay. Put this aside, and now we can do the egg. Maybe I'll use this one. Wait one minute. Test it out and see if it doesn't go. Okay. Okay, so, I'm a bit scared for this part. Sometimes eggs don't turn out how you expect them to. So far, so good, I guess. 
I'm not so good, but. Let's pick that a bit. Yeah, let's try if we can see and do a better one right here. Okay, that looks like an avocado. Literally. I'm going to use this one. Let's cut it out with our trusty scissors. I'll do it this way. Okay. You guys, I recommend you to use a pencil because then you won't see the really the markings because you can just erase it. But I'm using Sharpies. Okay, not bad. So here we have one. Two over here, so I can do two of them. Looks like an avocado, but it's okay. It's not gonna be perfect, everyone. They're all different sizes. Maybe I can make this one a bit smaller by cutting a bit. So I think I did this one too long. Okay, let's. Not bad. And there. We have two eggs. There we go, three eggs. I like how it did that, that's so cute. When I do it like this, it looks so cute, like a little nest right here. That's gonna be cute. Anywho, we're not doing that. So, let's start coloring them, I guess. So I'm gonna use my color pencil for the eggs. And I'm going to use different blues. A lot of different blues and they're so awesome. And pink. Some Easter colors. This hot pink. Um, I'm looking for the purple here, and I think that's good. You know, what? I'm also gonna get some green because I'm gonna make the grass of the basket, and so. Yeah. So these are the colors I'm going to be using. Pink, blue, and green and purple. Pink, blue, green, and purple. Okay. So let's start with this one. 
a very long one. And I think I'm gonna do some pink stripes on it. But first, I'm gonna color it pink stripes first, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get a paper so I will color my desk. I'm not super good at coloring, but I consider myself good. I'm gonna use different pinks, light pink and hot pink. do this differently. I'm not gonna use blue. So far so good. Keep on bending the paper. Oh wait. I'm gonna use this one. It's gonna be pattern. Hot pink, light pink, hot pink, light pink. And the good thing is I'm not going to be pausing the video because some of you want to catch up. But, so, yeah. I don't know if you guys hear any background noises, but if you do, I'm very sorry about that. I was about to mess up. Keep on bending the paper, you guys. Huh. Here, let me adjust it real quick so you guys can see a bit better. Is that good? There we go. And last one. Okay. Yeah, this is starting to get on my nerve. The paper keeps on bending and bending. I'm just going to be coloring this egg and the basket on one side. And then I'll do a poem. Because I'm not going to be coloring the whole thing. You guys can be creative and color it the way you want it to be. nice now i'm gonna bring in the basket it's a bit big so i'm gonna adjust it out and here uh, turn the paper the other way there okay so um let's start we're going to be starting with the grass so let's get our three greens i use all of them <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to be doing a whole bunch of squiggly lines everywhere, and so yeah. And then we can just do this. 
grass, some more. Let's go to the limes, like spaghetti. Yeah, this is <laughs> horrible. You guys can do this better, you know that. Okay, so let's keep doing some more squigglies. Okay, that looks nice, I guess. Okay, so now we're going to do some little eggs. Get some blue. These eggs are going to be all types of different colors. Just there you go. Just call that. Then some lines. There we go. Remember, you guys can decorate it however you want. This one's gonna be big. Purple's my favorite color, so this one's gonna be really big. I don't know how these eggs turned out way better than the ones that I cut out for the Easter basket. You can do it like this. That looks nice. Let me adjust it. You can see the eggs. That looks nice, yeah. Okay, so now let's get one right here. And we're going to color that one in pink. And... We're going to put some purple and green. And blue. Here we go. Now it's a waffle. Okay, well... One last one. It's gonna be right here. You guys can do more eggs than this and you can decorate it more. I'm just gonna do it half with some purple. Cool. Okay, that's nice. Okay, and so now up here, I'm going to use yellow and I'm going to write Jesus, Jesus has risen. Or Jesus rose. Jesus has risen, yeah. I'm going to write that. Bold letters. I don't know if you guys can see it much. So, let me see. Yeah, you guys can see it.
Jesus has Jesus has risen, yeah. Okay, this one's gonna be a bit tinier. And risen, I'm gonna do it blue. That art doesn't look so good, but uh, eh. and... Oh my gosh, I messed up. Don't worry, I'm still gonna color it in. Risen. I'm not sure if I spelled risen right. Comment down below. How do you spell risen? I did too much space in here though, also, but it's okay. And now we're going to use yellow. And we're going to do this. Some like lines. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not really gonna color that in. Now, last thing. The poem. Let me get my pencil. Do, do, do. Uh, wait one second, guys. Should have been more prepared. Okay, so let's write. Um, let's see, Jesus, our Savior. Jesus, our Savior. Jesus, our Savior, has risen. Hmm. Here. I know the Lord. I know the Lord. You don't have to write this. You guys can do your own poem. I know the Lord will rise for me. As to this day we celebrate him. I know the Lord will rise for me since this day who rose for all. Rise for me since the day, this day he rose for all thank you guys for watching my video make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and make sure to press that bell button to be notified when we i post a new video peace bye bye